Hi, I'm Hal Bowman. I'm uh, a staff optometrist at the Mountain Home VA, and for this particular event, I'm the chair of the primary care section. We today just had a diplomate preparatory course, and it was my honor to speak to the attendees about the process of becoming a diplomate in the primary care section. So this has been our first annual event, uh, and uh, I say annual because it's been very successful so far. What I like about it is that it dispels myths and perhaps insecurities to people about the process of becoming a diplomat. And so uh, there have been some great lectures on anterior segment, glaucoma, low vision, pediatrics, posterior segment, retinal vascular disease, uh, to broaden the scope of the attendees to prepare them to take the written examination. And I had the opportunity to talk about the process itself. So just quickly for you, the process involves filling out an application to the academy. Once we receive the application, we assign a mentor for the applicant and we advise you on how to start writing the written case reports. Ten case reports are required. You could substitute three of the case reports with uh, peer-reviewed journal articles if they've been written in the last ten years. The case reports come from various subjects uh, and must come from various subjects because we are the primary care section. And so we, we don't concentrate in one area, but your case reports have to come from uh, disease cases, binocular vision cases, optical cases, uh, public health cases, just a variety of different topics. Now, once two case reports have been accepted, then you're eligible, <clears throat> excuse me, you're eligible to sit for the written examination. The written examination also covers a variety of topics. It is a three-hour test, written test, with one hour of slide recognition questions. So it's overall a four-hour test. Very comprehensive, also on numerous topics, as I mentioned before. Uh, once uh, that is completed, and by the way, if any one section is not passed, you can come back and only take that section that is not passed, which happened to me. I did not pass the peds or low vision sections when I went through. So it's not unusual for candidates to not pass the whole thing the first time around, but it allows you the opportunity to improve your clinical acumen by study and, uh, and come back and pass those sections the next year. Once all 10 case reports have been accepted, you are eligible to take the practical examination. Practical examination involves live patient examinations in low vision, pediatrics, binocular vision, ocular disease, and contact lenses. You have 45 minutes to examine a live patient and 15 minutes questioning with the proctor present. Uh, then you're also eligible to take an oral examination after all 10 case reports are completed. The oral examination is generally based upon the case reports you have submitted. Some of the topics may stray from the, from the case reports based upon maybe some extra knowledge or studies or medications or adverse reactions or things like that that may have impacted the patient. Uh, say, for instance, an, uh, an examiner may ask you, what if this happened, where would you go with it? And so once all of those sections are completed, uh, you become a diplomat in the primary care section. And that is our goal, to mentor you through the process, to help you learn more, which is why I went through the process, was to learn more, to become a better optometrist for my patients. And I wish you the best of luck. If you so choose to become a diplomat, we will help you all that we can. Thank you.